Good morning. Today we're going to take a look around a Sea Line S48 hardtop sports cruiser. Very well laid out these. Um, two large island double berths, both with ensuite toilet and showers. You see you've got a hardtop for cruising in all the weathers. Lovely big cockpit as you'd expect. Very good access uh, onto the boat by the uh, staggered bathing platform and you can also see we've got nice wide side decks as well. This particular model built in 2005 um, it's got bow thruster, stern thruster um, powered by a pair of Volvo 75 TAMD 75 EDCs which are 480 horsepower each um, so in addition to the bow and stern thruster, we've got a generator, we've got um, a high-low platform, we've got a chart plotter, radar, heating, um, even, she's even got a washing machine. So she's got absolutely everything you possibly could need. So let's uh, take a look inside. So here we are in the cockpit, as you'd expect from a just shy of 50 feet foot sports cruiser, plenty of space. Nice double, well, arguably treble helm seat there. Nice clear instrument panel. You have got heating up in this cockpit as well as uh, down in the main cabin. It's a nice bench seat to port here uh, for a couple of guests. You have got a very handy side door as well. So if you're mooring port side too, um, and you're at the single-handed mooring and you're at the helm, you can just dash out quite quickly, very easily. Again, as with a lot of sports cruisers, we have got a barbecue. This one has got a pair of fridges. Cockpit upholstery is all in very good order. Canopies are good. Teak, very good, bar a clean, but then we are in November, so I would expect that. You've also this navy blue uh, console top, the stop glare. So a quick look in the engine bay. Nice and easy to actually get around the engines. And usually there is a bit of room. generator behind us along with the washing machine all pretty clean uh, clean down here see nice dry bilges and yeah not bad at all and let's just get back out and we'll take a look around the cabin so moving down into the saloon, you get an idea of the space that you get in your main living area. You've got a galley to starboard, and ample seating to port. All very nicely finished. And there's absolutely ample natural light coming through. It's often a problem with the larger sports cruisers, you, you generally suffer small windows, but these two large sky hatches, um, there's, there's plenty of light. So the galley, we've got an electric hob, above that uh, microwave oven, large fridge, and then plenty of stowage both above and below the galley worktop. So 
this is a two cabin boat and um, it's two good cabins. So isn't it, if you do have guests staying on board, they're not getting an inferior cabin. Um, and arguably, um, whether it's the fore cabin or the uh, mid cabin at the back here, it's arguable which is the master cabin. So let's take a look at the four cabin to start with. Large island double berth. Again, good amount of stowage. Got a couple of hanging lockers to port and to starboard. And you have a separate shower compartment. It's on the port side of the boat. And then to starboard, we've got the ensuite toilet with electric to uh, toilet, of course, as well. Now this has got a day access door. So this is, that would be the main toilet for use the majority of the time. So moving aft. So effectively, this is the second cabin. Again, we've got a large island double berth. Certainly a good size, uh, comparable to the forward cabin. Good stowage. See a little vanity unit this side. And then a large hanging locker. There's also a full length mirror tucked behind this door. And then we've got some locker storage and another mirror. <laughs> Ideal spot really for a TV or something like that just there. And as you'd expect, we've got all the suite. So electric flush toilet, and then a really good sized shower stall, full, well, six foot plus headroom in there easily, plenty of room to be to use it. So it doesn't feel like uh, this second cabin is inferior to the four cabin. Another feature that uh, Sea Lion have used uh, on both these berths is this pull out infill. So if you've got a couple of kids staying, you separate them by just folding that over. It's not perfect, but it would certainly help. So if you need to turn the berth into two singles, um, you can certainly do that. And ideal for those with a with a family or two young children, um, are not necessarily happy to sleep next to each other. You can do the same thing with both this uh, berth and the four cabin. So again, there's no sort of distinction as to which which cabin is the master. So the last feature I'd like to show you is the um, high-low bathing platform. Ideal if you've got a tender. See, so I touch the button, we can drop the platform into the water and launch your tender. And then when you're done, cover it nice and easily. Great feature this. All very, very simple and straightforward and works extremely well. So this is in the Sea Line S48, uh, large 48 foot sports cruiser, hard top, on shaft, uh, lovely boat. Yeah, it's clean, it's smart, it's tidy, it's well specified. Um, full details can be found on our website. Uh, it's well worth a look. If you've got, I don't know, a, a 37 or 40 foot sports boat and you're looking for that next step up, uh, something like this gives you those two big cabins, very comfortable, two decent toilets and showers, and all this space outside. This particular example has been well loved. It's an MYA stock boat. Um, we've known it for uh, several years now. She's been used on the broad, she's been used on the south coast. So a good mixed use life. Uh, mixed used life um, as I say been well loved well worth a look thanks for watching full details can be found on www.nya.co.uk just click the used boat section and she'll be on the first page thank you